listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. In an alternate universe, or on some Freaky Friday shit, you woke up tomorrow and you were a man, what kind of nigga would you be? I would be a hoe. <laughs> I'm being honest. Like, I would be a hoe. I want to slay this thing. When I wake up, I want to wake up like, I want to see how it feels. You know, I'm gonna get up, do what niggas do, get in the shower, get out the shower. Probably not put on any lotion, because obviously y'all don't put on lotion. I'm gonna go out to the mall and pick up some shorties, get their number. I'm gonna hit up a couple of them later. I'm gonna get one for, one for lunch, no, one for brunch, one for lunch, one for dinner. See where they head at. And whichever one I like the best, I'm smashing her that night. Like, yeah. Don't think it's that easy, huh? Yeah. That's cute. It has to be. Because again, this, this is for black men to get a peek into why the hell do y'all think like that, right? Okay. So the question is simple. Why do y'all prefer projects? Hmm. Initially, and then once again, this was something I really figured out as I got older. I preferred the project because I felt like if he messed up, it was kind of already, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of already knew he was going to mess up. So I wouldn't be as disappointed. Whereas if I got a man who was well put together I thought he was well put together. Everyone else thought he was well put together. But he messed up. Nobody shit. Niggas ain't shit across the board. <laughs> so I feel like, well, for me, I think that I chose the project because if they messed up, I kind of already knew that. I can't be mad that my heart is broken because I chose the person who I knew messed up. Now for other people, I don't know. I think about... No one really wants to be with a perfect person because in reality, none of us think we are perfect. It's kind of weird being with someone who has everything together when you feel like you don't. And I think it makes you feel worse about yourself. So you choose the project because you are a project. So it's an ego thing. It could be an ego thing. I don't want nobody better than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Because it, it, it's, 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 I guess, complicated because it's like, on one hand, I feel like women are kind of predisposed to want a man that they can look up to. Mm -hmm. Physically, sometimes spiritually, you know, mentally, you know, shit like that. So it's like, how do we reconcile I want somebody that I could look up to but I don't want a nigga who's too tall that's 100% a maturity thing until you hit that brain development stage that kind of stops you from doubting yourself or not knowing your worth and wanting full value in everything until you reach that developmental stage you're going to choose things that you feel like you're worthy of. And in reality, you're worthy of more than that. I think I, I kind of hit that. Or I'm hitting that space right now. So, like, what I look for now is totally different from what I looked for before. I've seen a lot of, like, YouTubers who are in the men's style space. Like, you know, talk about suits and stuff like that. Um, they'll do an experiment where 
you know, they'll put on two different types of outfits and go out into the street and get the reaction of women. So one dude, for instance, he put on, you know, a more dapper suit, you know what I'm saying? Fitted suit, nice looking suit, like James Bond shit. Mm -hmm. And he went out into the street and um, then the next outfit he put on was more like street style, you know, jean jacket, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. type of shit. And he asked women which of these aesthetics do you find more attractive? Guess which one most women voted as more attractive? Which one? The jean? And I think that kind of stuff confuses dudes. So like, because we would assume it's the James Bond, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, can you shed some light on that? Like why, why that might be? Um, I feel like this will be another know your worth kind of portion. Um, when the guy is dressed down, the personality that's presented through a visual is I'm down to earth. I can go sit and chill with you. I can go to the bar and get a drink with you. You know, we can go hang out with your friends. We can go hang out with my friends. We can do something fun. Or as the personality through the visual of the man in a nice suit is, I only do the expensive things. Like, I have to take you to a nice restaurant. I am going to take you on a boat. I am going to take you on a vacation. And those are all things that we want, yes, but we also want to feel like our man is down to earth. Like, I can chill with you, I can talk to you. I can lay here beside you, not say a word, and still feel comfortable. With that type of man in the suit, it's almost as if, I gotta get my shit together tomorrow. <laughs> You know, and if that person, if the lady feels like I'm not already there or I'm not even on the road to having my stuff together, you're too much for me. You're worth way more than I can have right now. For me, I'll take both of them. Can you do both of them? <laughs> that's, that's, that's solid. Well, follow up to that, that's, um, I think is actually right in line. But I think the answer might go a different way. You know who Broderick Hunter is? I do not. He's a, he's a male model. Handsome dude. Like, even me as a nigga is like, that's a handsome dude, right? Mm -hmm. So they did a social experiment with him. And they, they set him up in like a bar type setup, right? And he was sitting at the bar. And he was acting, right? And the goal or the point of it was... You were seeing, you're looking at a girl across the bar and you're trying to like get her attention, right? But not on no shit, but just like look at her, get her attention type shit. Yeah. Um, but I want you to do it with two different personalities. Personality A was more so, you know, stern, more so stoic, like, you know, like the, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And personality two was more so like jokey, like, you know, happy, hey, how you doing, type shit. Mm -hmm. And then they showed both of these recordings, like they passed a group of women through a booth or a room or whatever, and showed them both the recordings and asked them to rate the attractiveness of each guy. Same nigga, but rate the, attractive, the attractiveness of each guy. Guess who got rated the higher in attractiveness? Yeah. Guy A, who was more serious, didn't smile, just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. It sounds sexy. Like, I'd rather you look at me like, than look at me like, it's weird. I don't know. It's, that's not the setting to do that. Um, let me think on this one. There is a seriousness about guy A. Um, and typically in a bar setting, woman's gonna go to the bar with her homegirl that's single or she the single homegirl. So I feel like 
you got the serious guy looking at you and giving you the eye making you feel like I'm trying to pull you towards me. You're going to go for that because if you're at the bar age, really think about it, 21 year olds don't typically go to the bar unless it's the bar at the club. So if you're at the bar age, you're looking for something serious. So if you got guy A looking at you, you're like, oh, he seems like he wants something that's more than just a one night stand or more than just adding me to a notch in his belt. So I feel like that type of woman will go towards guy A. Whereas if you have guy B sitting at this bar, the women that's there are not looking for a silly fun time. They're looking for a man who knows what he wants. If you are silly and goofing off at the bar, you either A, don't know what you want, B, you might have a drinking problem. C, maybe you got a wife and some kids at home. That ain't what I want. That's how I feel. <laughs> All right, so the last question that I like to close it out with, and you might get the correlation, you might not, but I'm interested to see. What kind of son do you plan to raise? Because he's going to be a black boy. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so sad. But part of me wants to say it doesn't matter the type of son I want to raise. Because he's still going to have a target on his back. But I would like to raise a respectable son. Like... I want, like, I'm a teacher, so I want to raise the black kids that are going to class and say good morning to their teacher who's going to be well-behaved. Um, and even if not, who's going to understand that maybe, you know, this is not how I should have acted. I need to apologize to my teacher. Um, and I want to raise a black boy like that because I want him to become a black man who holds himself accountable and who is respectable and respectful in the real world. Do you get the irony yet? Because I said I want to be out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the boy that you want to raise so different than the man you would be? Because the boy I want to raise, I want him to be better than the man I've encountered. But the man I want to be wants to experience why the men I've encountered wanted to be the way they were. <laughs>